Hello, this is Miller Rogers of Cooking with Miller, and today we're going to be making a tiramisu and trifles. They're a nice springtime dessert, easy to make. You can make it for a large family. I kind of figured the price um, with the cake and the sauce would be about um, $17 for being able to use up a half sheet pan of cake. I think that would make about 20 to 25 servings. So it'd be just under a dollar a serving. It makes a nice dessert because you can use fresh fruit for a trifle and for the tiramisu it's just always nice. Hello, we're going to be making pound cake today. That's a recipe that you can use for many purposes. You can use it for tiramisu and trifles, and you can use it just as for little petty fours or cakes. So the, we're going to start with the pound cake, and a pound cake is called a pound cake because everything in it is a pound. So it's a pound of flour, a pound of, we'll start with a pound of butter, a pound of sugar, which you cream together, a pound of flour, a teaspoon of salt, and a pound of eggs. Now I already made one earlier, so this is actually going to be the half recipe. So it's a half a pound of butter. And I like using a stand mixer. I have also made this in a food processor, but I much prefer the stand mixer. I've made it much larger than this too, so it's, you can have a variety of stuff. So there's a half a pound of sugar in here. We bring the batter bowl up. I started the creaming of the butter. You, prob you want to start with room temperature butter. Okay, and we've got a, a half a pound of sugar in here, a half a pound of butter. Now we'll cream it together. Come on. Okay, you can see the butter and the sugar is creamed together. Now we're going to add the flour and one teaspoon of one half teaspoon of salt. Pound cakes are the original way of making cakes. And back in the 1800s, it was difficult. You had to have strong arms to be able to mix this stuff up. 
it has no leavening in it. So it's the eggs that are providing the lift and the crumb of the cake. So I also took uh, nine eggs and I blended them in the blender and you can see that they're kind of frothy and that helps a lot. So we're gonna put in the flour, half a pound of flour. And we'll start mixing that up. When that gets all incorporated, then we'll add the eggs. And the tricky part is when you add the eggs. So you can see that the flour is, is well incorporated with the butter and the sugar, and it's pulling off the bottom. That's the perfect stage to add the eggs. So we're gonna turn this on a low speed and add the eggs a little bit at a time. Let it incorporate, add some more. If you're using a stand mixer, you can easily pop this stuff out of the bowl if it's going too fast or if it's too much liquid. Now we're getting well incorporated. We can add all the eggs. And you see how that's a soupy, gooey mess. We don't, this is not ready yet. So all we've done is mix all the ingredients together. If you're making cookies or regular cakes, you could almost stop right here, but we're going to run it fast now. What you're looking for is the mixture to get a creamy white. Okay, you can see how that's kind of a creamy white. That you're beating air into the batter. That gives it a nice crumb. We'll explain what a crumb is in a little bit. Now, we've mixed this up on a high speed. I've knocked down the batter. Uh, to get all the little clumps in there. And we're gonna run it again on high speed for a few seconds here. There we go. Now you notice how that turned whitish and it's rather thick now. Perfect consistency for our batter. I used spelt flour um, as the flour, which I really prefer than regular flour, but you can use regular flour. You can use white flour. You can use unbleached flour. You can use the golden white flour. So we're gonna fold this up a little bit. I think you can kind of see that, how it holds its shape nicely. And then we'll Put it in the cake pan. Now remember that what I told you one other time, this is a quarter sheet pan with a riser and a baking pa paper. I find that to be so easy to work with. At home with a regular oven, I'd use a half sheet pan. And then we give it a, a small push out, fill the edges. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it just, you just want it kind of even. Okay. That's all there is to making a pound cake. A pound of butter, a pound of sugar, a pound of flour, a teaspoon of salt, and a pound of eggs. We put it in the oven, 350 for about 25 minutes. I made this earlier. So it's, uh, when you, make tear, when you make a trifle or a tiramisu, you'll be using smaller chunks of these. Uh, if you have a small plate like this, 
you would probably make a this would be about 12 servings now you can do really fun things with this so there's our cake to start with so now you know where we're kind of coming okay the second ingredient to a good trifle and a good pound cake is the sweet cream sauce and i use um, cream cheese this is the uh, you can make it with a nufa shell cheese you can make it with mascarpone you could make it with um, the cream cheese in the tub i like using this cream cheese because it gives you a lot of flexibility for getting the right thickness and that's the tough thing with this recipe you can get it too thin very easily and um, i find it easier for me to start with a, a, a thick cream cheese so we will put the cream cheese into a food processor this one is much easier in a food processor and unless you have a large mixer, mixer like a 20 quart mixer um, and most people don't have those at home so So that's eight ounces of cream cheese. Now what we're gonna make in this batch is the sweet cream filling for the trifle. Cause we do put Marcella wine in for the tiramisu. But the, for the trifle, you don't necessarily have to do that. So we're just gonna make a, a sweet cream sauce. So. There's eight ounces of cream cheese in there. I put the top of the cuisine on and mix it up. And you see that's mixed up a bit. It's nice to start with almost room temperature cream cheese. This is some heavy whipping cream. And we'll put in a, oh, about a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. You can start less and work your way up. Now the trick to this recipe is you want to get the right consistency. Too thin is not quite palatable, too thick is hard to spread. It needs to be just right. So here is one cup of powdered sugar. You can use less powdered sugar if you want. I um, like it to be just slightly sweet. Looking at this, it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna add in a little bit more cream and start whizzing it up some more. And then we'll pull in the sides. Notice that it still is holding it quite thick. So we'll blend it a little bit more and then thin it out with probably some water. Okay, we can take a look at this. You can see how thick that is. It's not quite flowing. That's a little bit on the thick side. But it's got a nice consistency. Now, if you were to make a uh, trifles or tiramisu for 150 people you want to get this as accurate as you can there's a little bit of water maybe a teaspoon of water in there now not one thing nice about the food processor is you can watch it mix and get it a good idea now this is getting to be the correct consistency see how it kind of flops down we'll blend it once more This is a nice consistency. That's what you're looking for, where it just flows off the spoon. 
could even be a little bit thinner. So now you want to do is taste a little bit and see. Yummy. That's a cream sauce. So the first thing we're going to do is make a tiramisu. A tiramisu means a little pick-me-up. Uh, it was said to come from Venice uh, about in the 1500s, although that recipe, whatever it was, has disappeared. It has the nice uh, fatty cream, the cake, and a little bit of uh, wine and coffee in it, and that's why they called it a little pick-me-up. It got reimagined in the 60s by a, a restaurateur in Italy, and it went you know worldwide in a short amount of time so all your recipes that you see will originate from that one recipe in in 1963 or something like that so tiramisu and trifles are a layered dessert and the way you can make it however you can make it to make it pretty is you want to layer it so we're going to start with our cake and we're going to cut that in half. I told you I talked to you about crumb and this is the crumb. You can see the little air spaces in there. That's what you want to get when you get a, a cake or a baked good. If it's got a nice crumb, then it'll have a nice mouthfeel and you'll get a fairly solid um, but tender item to eat. Uh, these work better if you bake the cake, put it in the refrigerator for a couple days, maybe up to a week, and then, then use it. The cake is a little bit stiffer. I made one earlier and I put it in the refrigerator. So this has been brought down to refrigeration temperature and it's in pretty good shape. So to start with a tri a pound um, to start with tiramisu, you will uh, take your pound cake and soak it in coffee. And this coffee we had just made today, I prefer using a, a stronger coffee, uh, like a cold filtered coffee or an espresso coffee, but this works just fine too. This is what we we made today for our staff. So you have a piece of pound cake, uh, soaked in coffee, put a little of the sweet cream, give it a good shake. And now what we have in this little container, which is a, a tea strainer, is some cocoa. And I will sprinkle cocoa on top. There we go. Now we put the other pound piece of pound cake in the coffee, let it soak up. And now I put more of the sauce on top and then more of the cocoa and you are done with this dessert. Now for a trifle is about the same thing except we won't use any of the coffee. And we'll use the uh, sweetened cream sauce. And a trifle you'll usually want to do in a small dish. You could use um, a small glass, an eight ounce wide mouth container, uh, something like that. And what you want is a, again a layers. So I take my pound cake and cut it in half. This way on a trifle we'll just use one. Now a trifle is, is 
getting different flavors in. So as you bring your spoon down through the mixture, you're getting well, maybe like lemon curd or um, a strawberry jam. Okay, so the way you want to start with this is have a little bit of the, I like using a little bit of the lemon curd. And you can make this yourself. It's not hard to make, but it's nice to use it right out of the jar. This has got a nice lemony filling. So you'll, whatever container you're serving it in, you'll want to get a, a bottom layer of whatever jam you're using. Now I've made trifles in very large containers like this, and that was fun. Here's your cake. Push that into the trifle mix. This is a sweet cream. Now you can add uh, more. We'll add some strawberry to make it interesting. Another fruit spread. This you can play with. Then you can have your kids make it too, so if they have fun, a little bit more of the trifle sauce. Give it a little, see how that sauce just melds in? And then I'm gonna put blueberries on the top. Whoops. Now you can do uh, much more layers. If you do a thick one, you can do um, a jam at the bottom, uh, pound cake, uh, white sauce, more pound cake, fruit, uh, cut up strawberries, and keep on working it way up. So this is a trifle, and this is tiramisu. Today we made uh, tiramisu and we made a trifle and you can, ex you can do these the way you want. You don't have to um, be exactly like what I did. You can have fun with it. Um, you can even make the tiramisu in a large container like a, a lasagna pan and then put it into the refrigerator and let it cool and then cut it up into slices. That's always nice. The trifles can be made in a larger um, trifle bowl or a large sided bowl. It makes it really pretty. So it's a fun dessert, not very expensive. Uh, you can feed a lot of people and it makes it, it makes it look very fancy. I think that's it. Okay, well have fun with your desserts. Um, Wild your neighbors.